Hello, good morning, and welcome back to Neil and Jan Resellers. It's a uh, Sunday, Sunday morning. Sunday, the 2nd of July. Yep. In the morning. Um, we've just been to the sales. Poinings. 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 It's the mega boot sale which switches between sales common and yep. Poinings, and today it was Poinings. And I have to say, whilst I love the boot sale itself, the field is really really uneven it's uh, i was talking to two people who fell who've fallen over today because the field yeah. is so rutty yeah and it it's a nightmare to get around and yeah um and, and i'm tired and in pain now which is why i can't go upstairs to get a brush and do my hair because I'm, I'm done yeah and i've got excuse there was no walking around the field uh video um my health levels and, and energy levels and stuff haven't been great over the last week or so um so um and we've got a few videos that are stacking up so this probably won't be coming out this weekend but we'll see um so happy but, uh, christmas yes yes it's all good <laughs> no it's all all good so um but anyway it was so actually this is a two it, it's a weekend's worth of boot sales we were at pointings this morning yeah yesterday we were at Faygate. so yes. i've got Two, oh, you've got two lots. Excellent. Two lots. Right. Well, I'll just um, exclude my exclude my Saturday's lot. Um, I um, I picked up a bundle of jeans, um, and that was it. Really, it was just a a bundle of jeans, which is my everyday kind of stuff. I mean, you'll be seeing more jeans here. But what I picked up yesterday um, was just isn't it called stuff. a stack of jeans? A I think you've already jeans. named it a stack of jeans. A stack of jeans. The plural of jeans is yeah, a I stack. Think, I think there was about 36 pairs of jeans yesterday, something like that. So, so, but to be honest, they were just everyday kind of jeans. There was one pair, I think one pair of Levi's and that was it. Um, uh, 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 the rest were just everyday stuff. There was nothing really special, I don't think. Um, so... But let's see what you got well, yesterday. Good, so I'm going to have to start on today's and work backwards okay. because I haven't got enough room to. Uh, yeah, well, I've got know, I've got some stuff for once today. Once this basket's empty, so, I can put the other basket. Let's have a look. What one. did you get today, Jan? Um, well, I was actually after I'd said to you, I'm heading back to the car. I'm on my way out. Um, there were some cars just round the edge of the field. Yep. And there was one that I hadn't seen earlier, and I found a Kath Kidston mug. Nice. And it's just hearts. And that was a pound. And you may be That's aware that by we've church. actually put the camera a bit closer today on a on a um, a table stand yeah. rather than have a big tripod out with the dogs knocking it. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So now we've got the puppy. We've got the pen behind us. It what well, behind you? There is a, a puppy pen, and we're just running out of space in this room. Yeah. So it's easier to put you on the table and. But it actually, means it's easier for Jan, for, for for us to show you the um. Yeah, because uh, I the can brands. actually reach and show you things. Whereas yeah. be, normally it's like four. It's too far away. away. Yeah. I'm not so, Twizzle. Uh, I haven't got arms like. Do you remember? Did you have Twizzle when you were little on TV? No. It, it was a kids' program with the boys' arms. Got longer and longer don't, and longer. Don't think so. Let us know by the way in the comments. Love to know if you're liking the closer thing or the further away thing. Which one you actually like best? If you uh, if you're obviously a regular. And from the same table that I got the first mug, another Kath Kidston, and this is a Merry Christmas one. And I happen to know that these were selling on eBay last Christmas for I think either twenty or twenty four pounds each. I remember thinking. Nice. That's a lot of money. It is. So I thought, well, superb. And they were a pound each. I paid for those. Okay. Um, right. Well, my first thing I'm going to talk about. I uh, picked it up a shirt, and it's a nice, thick, long sleeve. Um, this is a Quicksilver shirt. See the Quicksilver. Um, but that's going straight in my wardrobe. It fits me and I like it and it's my type of thing. And it has my approval. You tried it, it on and I said no, it's a keeper. It has Jan, Jan's approval. So that's a keeper. That's a quick silver shirt for £2 and that's going straight to my, well, once it's been washed, straight to my wardrobe. Go for it. I picked up a, another Kath Kidston, but this right. time it's a bag. How much do you pay for that? Um, They wanted five for it. Yeah. I offered three. Right. And he said four and I said no thank you and started walking away and he went three fifty. <laughs> so <laughs> nice it's a bit folded up at the moment, but yeah. it's it's like new. 
really beautifully clean when inside. I was buying everything stuff I picked up some of those but mine I I had them on for, I think I had some bl blue with white dots I think yeah um, uh, I know mine didn't sell particularly well did you price them high enough? Sometimes I, if you don't price something high enough, people don't I think it's worth anything didn't. and don't buy it. Yeah. But that looks you know, a nice one. We've talked about that be before, we have, haven't yeah. we? That people think if it's too cheap, it's not worth... It's not worth buying, yeah. So that was £3.50. £3.50, excellent. And that's nice. I like that. Cool. Uh, what have I got next? Um, right, so i got some... Um, well, we're going to do three here. So we've got some. I've uh, got a sweatshirt. I think this was in a fifty. There was a whole load of stuff that was fifty p, uh, and this was a, a sweatshirt. I thought it looked quite quite nice kind of sweatshirt. Yeah, it's nice. Um, so we've got that one. I've then also got a Nike Air. Um, now this is actually missing at the. It's a hoodie. Uh, uh, a full length zip, and um. Yeah. Is it the string around the neck? You uh, said it. No. This, yeah, the string around the hood is missing. Is it missing or is it in that? I don't know if I'm feeling a seam or, no, I um, think it's or missing. the actual string. I think it's missing. Well, but anyway, it, I mean, it'll still sell. I mean, I paid £2.50 for that one. And then there was a Adidas hoodie. Again, £2.50. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's all good. Okay, let's see some of yours, yeah? Um, never had one of these before, but I recognised as soon as I Tray. saw it that it's Port Marion. Classic, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it is Port Marion, it says on the back. I doubt if you'd be able to read that. It's kind of imprinted in the plastic. It's like it needs a nice little clean. Port Marion. On the back, and that looks uh, like it's a bit. It's a little bit grubby, but but that should it's not that too should bad. Come up nicely. And, you nice. know, it's got usage marks on it. Yeah, it was a pound. Excellent. So, what do you think they go for? I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. All I know is that I have just this week sold a Port Mirian spoon rest that I picked up last year or the year before a long time ago for what i picked it? it up for 20p it just sold for 11 it, i had it up for 12 what was and it made of? for 11 20 this made the same stuff yeah wow yeah, really. okay so i thought well for spoon rest will yeah sell for and that's the thing is sometimes when you're picking stuff up isn't it, um, it is sometimes i mean that you would know be a brand. little bit more awkward to shit but yeah i mean you know the brand you, you you've sold other stuff similar so you kind of pick it up and give it a go so um, that's it if you wanted a better look because I don't think it's actually <laughs> scratched it's just um, not clean yeah no I think it just needs a bit of an echo um, have you been missing the limelight have you so it's, yeah, I need to be in the apparently trip. so I need to stand on the back of the sofa and cause havoc is what I need to do ok um my Where are you going, Echo? Next little lot I'm going to show. Uh, I picked up some dress shirts. Sit down. So we've got this. Um, this is a Lee Cooper. Um, I think I paid £2 for these. Um, so it's a Lee Cooper. Now this is a really nice thick. Um, what's the brand there? I don't know. Lyland Scott. Lyland Scott. I think Lyland Scott is quite a reasonable brand. Um, You're not so, thinking of Tate and Lyle, are you? No. No, that's <laughs> sugar, isn't it? Um, but yeah, so it, this is a really nice kind of thick kind of winter uh, shirt. And then here's a brand I don't know of. This might be as cheap as anything. It's a summery one. Were these shirts ne in the car next to the car that I was talking to you at? And um, gave you the grapes because she had some hanging. And I was going to say been. to you, there's some nice Might shirts there. Um, this is is that is that Guide, Guide London. Guide London. Never heard of Guide London. Uh, I will do my research. Obviously, um, there was a. I was listing um, some dress shirts the other day. Um, there was a Elton one, um, and used. It's a fifty pound shirt. So, um, 
so yeah so there is still some there's some money to be made on dress shirts mm -hmm. so uh but anyway that was a couple of dress shirts i picked up today um that's very much a um dress shirts is something that i'm not really i don't really know and it's something that i'm looking to learn more and more on um and i think that's the thing is when when you're going to boot sales um there's not always going to be the exact item like if i want expensive jeans i'm not necessarily yeah, going to find no guarantee that's what you're going so to pick up you've got to look at at you know you've got to you've got to know trousers jeans hoodies shirts dress shirts jackets if you're gonna you know because if let's say i mean i i know that there was other other resellers in front of me um, oh, the amount of trolleys in the field yeah today. i mean there were other resellers in front of me and the thing is if that if they just happen to get the stuff that i i would have picked up and i don't have a secondary and third and fourth kind of category that i'm also looking out for i could go around the boots out and completely blank on picking stuff up so having multiple items uh, Having, having multiple areas that you're looking for that you can pick up um, and that you can make a profit on I think is a valuable thing to do yeah sorry I'm trying to get these out because there's six of them and uh... oh, look, they look nice mm. whilst Jan's just still getting those out I'll, I'll go for a couple more and yeah. another little category um, so these this is a nice little pile of um sorry about the shirts rustling. no that's all right um so these are polo shirts um and i picked them up for 50p each what's that brand bad rhino yeah yeah bad rhino and that's so 4xl 4xl bad rhino I, I don't know these brands so we've got a bad yeah, rhino i've never heard of it um oh you're pulling my sorry. stuff off there we've got an what's this one Racing Bull. I've not heard of Racing Bull. That's the logo on it. And uh, at the back. But to me, they kind of feel. I don't know these brands, but they kind of don't feel cheap. I mean, they may not be worth much at all. Um, the next one is another bad rhino. Obviously, it's the same of the same person. Um, then we've got what's this one this is another racing bull um but for the next one actually i might i shouldn't probably shouldn't have picked this up this may uh i've got to do more research on this one this is a, a polo golf ralph lauren um so that's a case of is it genuine or it's a case of is it genuine yeah um so but anyway although now that the designer stuff is selling in ordinary shops you know you don't have to go to specialist shops for it yeah but it's just one of them i mean it's one of the most faked yeah brands and i i must admit i mean to be honest i paid 50p for it but that if it's fake it's going straight to the to uh yeah the bins or something to maybe a charity shop or something i don't know saying that that might actually be a, that might actually be a wearable size for me even if it's fake i mean it's a nice yeah, you it's, can wear fake it's still a nice shirt i mean the, just because something's not necessarily general you can't resell it as, as something if it's fake uh another lyle and scott little shirt um but these big uh, i quite like these big What's this one again? This one is uh, this is Bad Rhino again. I'll have to look that brand up. And more Bad Rhino. So I mean I don't know what these will go for, but you know I think it's they're reasonable kind of shirts. I mean I paid fifty p even if they sell them for. I mean I'm hoping they're going to be like a twelve pound kind of shirt yeah if they're only six quid it, they've only cost me 50p a piece so 
is not ideal, but there'll still be a profit mm -hmm. on it. Anyway, have you got your, your these uh, ones yeah, out? These ones, um, a set of six mugs. They are Leonardo collection. We like Leonardo collection, don't we? And they're various different. I don't know if they are. Those two are the same. So we've got different flowers um, on them. Oh, there's three pairs. Three, excellent. And they were saying that they're brand new, never been used. They wanted £12 for them, which to me is way over what I was prepared to pay. Yeah. And um, she said, well, started, you know, doing the deal. And I said, look, I don't want to insult you, but the highest that I would go is three. And they started to push it up. And I said, no, no, three's my limit and started to walk off. And as I'm walking off, the husband said to the wife, do you really want to take them home again? Mm. And then they both shouted out. You can have them for three so i had to walk all the way back to them mm -hmm. <laughs> and by the time i got back and paid and we started wrapping them up somebody else came along and started picking them up and looking at them and i know i've already bought those yeah paid, so i bet but... the couple's kicking themselves thinking oh we could have got more we but, got more for, but, but, but the thing is you know that things are only ever worth what somebody's willing to pay and i was willing to go three pounds on these well and the other thing is just because somebody was looking doesn't mean to say that they would have paid any more exactly you know only when they actually start offering and it says fine china but they're not like really thin bone china or anything yeah. they are leonardo collection but it's a nice set and i'm happy yeah. with it for three pounds but i, well, I clearly you... wouldn't have wanted to go higher than three on it yeah Nice, excellent. Um, you know, somebody will like those. Oh, I like those. Oh, that's at good. some point. What's that one you just moved over? You haven't shown that one yet. Um, have you? No, because that was one that just came out out of order. These out of the, order. Okay. Well, whilst you're the whilst getting I've some done. more out, uh, picked up a couple of pairs of uh, shorts. Obviously, it's summer. Well, providing when, depending when the film comes out. But right now, it's actually summer still. I mean, it's what is what's the date? Second of July. The second of July. So I picked up some shorts uh, for a pound a piece. Um, these are Tokyo Laundry um, pair of shorts. 50p I would expect I would try and get about £12.50 for those and we've got some Hollister Hollister ones uh, again pound um, I mean these are quite worn I say quite warm but actually that distressing that is that's pre-made that that came from the shop distressed like that that's the you can see that's shop distressed um I rather, hate that fashion of rather than wrecking things you can see it's i mean jeans just don't wear like i mean um shorts just don't wear like that that is definite distressing so they've been bought like that as distressed but again hopefully hopefully about 12 quid should be good oh right, now bear's getting really excited because he can smell oh is he about to get that are you about to oh and echo's coming up for Oh, two piggies at two a pound each. Would you like one? Would you? Oh. Would you like the other one? I'll go and take it and take it away because it stinks. Go and take it some. Do you want to take that out to the hall for her and put her in the hallway with it? All right. Whilst I'm doing that, Jan's going to show you the next uh, bits that she picked up, other than the piggies. Piggies are great though. Um, and I asked the lady if she had anything for a for a puppy because she does all, all manner of natural um, dog products but sadly she didn't have anything for for Oakley so we're gonna have to give him something else I don't know about it but he's only just had his lunch anyway so he probably doesn't need anything at the moment sorry I'm just unwrapping these I got all four from the same stall and I've just seen that one of them's got the tiniest chip there Oh, well, that's a that's shame. That's a shame. That is a real pity. That that was a um, Rose of England. Right. And another oh, BHS. Homes, British, British, British Home Stores. That looks a bit like yeah. Rose of England, but that's British Home Stores. And then that one. Rose of England do tend to be quite popular. But 
Yeah. I'm not sure actually if that's a chip or a flaw in it because it feels quite smooth. And then we've got I like this those. pair. These are, what are these? Uh, Roy Kirkham from no. 2006. So vintage Roy Kirkham. I like those. I, I like the design on those. They look. Uh... I mean, often you get a a bit of work to do on them, but they clean up fine. Yeah. And they were. Um, these were all 50p each, so two quid's worth there. Excellent. Well, I've got a quick one here. Uh, actually, this was the last item I, uh, that I picked up. Uh, I actually went back for it, didn't I? Um, yeah. So. It's not very clean at the moment, but this is a um, hand pump. Um, uh, Jan's got a, a large mobility scooter for going around the woods. Yeah, all terrain and, mobility and scooter. And sorry about the dogs making noises with their pig's ears, but yeah. they love them. Yeah, they do. Um, and basically, I've been using a really little small hand pump, and it only moves about yeah, so it's far. It's a bike pump, isn't it's it? It's a bike pump. And um, so this one actually has a nice big gauge on it there and um and you can stand there with your you feet, can stand on, your feet so on and there's table. a lot of there's a lot of room in that tube to actually have a lot of air in there um and i've got this for four pounds i think they would normally be at least 25 quid um so. and i'm also going to use it for my electronic skateboard and the one wheel that i have to pump the, the, those tires up it'd just be so much quicker and a lot less effort um the only trouble with it, uh, with things like this is it's not not exactly easy to stick in a backpack and take with you, but uh, but no that would yeah. that would do for a nice um, high one. Joan used to yeah. have a, a foot pump, um, but I used I've to had use several it. foot pumps, but then I met Neil, and, and I was going to say you know they don't they, I never broke a foot pump in all the years before I met Neil, but if he pumps the tire up, he does it like an Olympic sport, and he's just too hard. It's on just them. like it, it and the. And the mechanism isn't strong enough, and they kind of go sideways, and then they kind of break and stuff like that. So anyway, so I've got I've got a, another uh, a a pump. One. A replacement one. I was going to say, if anyone recognises this, not everything makes it to eBay. Some things I just think I really like that. Yeah. So I kept this. Well, one. I think sometimes you just. This was you know, um, Faygate a couple of months ago, wasn't yeah. it? I think. I mean, I think sometimes oh, it's a bit like this one. I'm like, although I'll, no, I bought that for you. You bought that one for me. That was. That was bought for you to use, that not, was for, not which to, is um, very appropriate now with the mad dog lover with the black labrador. With the black labrador, now we have the black labrador. Now we have the black labrador. It's A very small appropriate. Black labrador. Um, anyway, so my next item, I bought a denim skirt. I'm sure you all look lovely in it. <laughs> <laughs> look lovely in it, won't it? Uh, this is a uh, Dorothy Perkins. It was a pound. I've sold denim skirt. I mean, I sell women's stuff as well. So, I mean, a pound for denim skirt, that's still probably going to sell for about $9.99, something like that. Um, so, I was over a pound or 50p. It was cheap. It was, um, it was worth buying. So, that was that one. What else you got, Jen? Um, now I'm on to yesterday's from Faygate. Excellent. Well, whilst Jan's on yesterday's, I've still got some of today's stuff just to show as well. And I've got a pretty, uh, this is a Sadler hand-painted teapot for 50p. Do you pick ben, up many Sadlers? Is that gonna, a... Well, Sadler's up there with um, Price and Kensington. Right, okay. Price you know, and it's Kensington. It's a British brand. You know, it's... Is that better or worse than a Denby? Uh, not as exclusive not as, as Denby. Right, okay. Denby teapots are they? Denby teapots start generally speaking. They're they're in the shop price around about sixty five quid. Right, okay. You know, you'd expect to pick up something like this, which uh, God knows how old this is, but this one you would expect to pay probably twenty. Right. Brand new. So Denby is. So what you're looking like? Well, fourteen quid, something like that, second hand. What this one? <laughs> yeah. I would put it on for 20. All right. And then let it sit there for years. Is it just because... That's what I know. Well, because it is pretty. Yeah. And sooner or later, somebody's going to come along and think, I really, really like that. And yeah. they'd be happy to pay 20 quid for it. Got it, yeah. So just because... But it, it might take three or four years to find the person who's willing to do that. Through, which is fair enough. Yeah. Because, so you know, I'm, I'm only a hobby seller. And at the moment, I, I'm just... Anything that I sell, the money is going directly off 
my credit card, which went sky high at the end of Chester Hour, Short Hair Pointer's life, when yep. within the space of 24 hours, um, it cost us about £2,000 in vet fees and uh, euthanasia and yeah. uh, cremation and everything. So what I sell goes on my credit card and it pays off the dog's cost. Yeah. Wherefore, I'm actually doing it, trying as to... A, as a job. As a job, as a business. Um, so, anyway, my next... Um, oh, what have I got here? Um, I'm not going to go through all these. So, that was the, today's pair. Oh, that pair needs a special right. mention. That's complete. That's not jeans. That's a okay. I'll, tweed. I'll, I'll actually... We'll run through this quickly. All right. So... Pair of next, another pair of next, another pair of next, uh, more next jeans, another pair of next jeans. Um, but then I picked up these. These were a pound, and um, and they're all posh. Yeah, I quite like them. I kind of think that they're. Uh, what have we got there? Um, Mark Darcy, London. Mark Darcy, that sounds kind of expensive. It, it does sound expensive, and I was going to say they look to me like the sort of thing that you'd wear, you know, on a shooting party. Or yeah. Something. I have no idea. I've never been on a shooting party, but, but they've got on the pockets on the back. They've got the um, the trim. You show right. The pockets at the back. They just look smart. Yeah. So anyway. And tailored. They they look nice. Yeah. So hopefully they'll be good. I don't know how. I don't know quite how much. Uh, is that another pair of Kevlon type? No, this is raw denim. Oh, so right. the, these are um, blacks jeans. Blacks. Yeah, Blakes. blacks. Blacks. Oh, hang on. Blakes. 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 So these are Blakes jeans, um, as in the brand, and these are raw denim. If you don't know what raw denim it is, raw denim is where. Um, it used to be with jeans with raw denim that you would actually um, possibly even actually sit in the bath in water and let them oh, shrink. Oh yeah, when, when I was young, you used to buy your Levi's and then sit in the bath of cold water and shrink them to and fit. shrink them to fit. And that's what the raw denim is that. And it, it's uh, um, it's before they've had a final kind of wash to get the shrink uh, to fit. And, and did uh, you know that jeans and Levi's started off with the cowboys in America and they were actually made out of the t the canvas that they used for tents? I think and I've because heard the cowboys that. were so hard on trousers, yeah. they started using but denim I, that was I do also know with that that certain jeans do actually have an ounce weight and they're done uh, and the thickness can be done by how many ounces of, of, of denim it is. Oh, um, that's like a thread count on your sheets then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this is these just, are a nice. It's a lovely colour. Uh, uh, these are Gap uh, uh, 1969s. Um, and they've got the... Um, ankle zips. Ankle zips so you can put your boots on and things. So that was a nice pair, which I'm quite happy with. We then had... Um, these are Levi 541s and they're men's waist... 36 leg 30 nice black pair um probably can't see a lot with there you've got the logo there so they're and, nice and i'm sorry if i'm doing strange things with my nose it's the smell of those pigs ears all oh, right uh the sooner another, they're eating the better another pair of levi's 506 again these are 36 waist and 32 leg nice pair of blues oh, i was gonna say a bit long leggy for you yeah bit long for me now this is a brand that i think i've heard of is a good brand um um it's seven for all mankind i think is a really good brand i see i think i remember hearing of them i don't think you can just see it at the top there and you've got the little logo there with the seven there i need to do research but i'm pretty sure they're a really good brand um and I've picked up two pairs, of the, there's that one, and this one. And again, you see the little seven. I'm not, I, I think they're a good brand. I'm not sure on how expensive they are when they're new, but I um, seem to remember that they're a good brand. I've got to check them out. Um, we've then got just some um, blue fat face jeans. Um, fat face, pretty good brand. 
quite desirable. Um, then there's just a pair of, these are quite small, but these are diesel. But they, I'm going to have to check them out though. It's got a nice little logo -y thing on the back there. But diesels normally have a coloured thing around here. But then if these are, I'm not sure, I don't know if they're fake. I'm going to have to do some research on whether they are fake or not. Um, again, didn't pay much for them. I think they were about a pound. So we'll see. And then last pair on the jeans is uh, a nice pair of Grant jeans. Um, Grant are pretty reasonable. Um, I think I paid a pound for them and I would be looking at probably at least 15 quid for them. Um, that's my pile of jeans. Okay, and then um, I have another Kath Kidston mug. That's this nice one is um, utterly amazing. So, otters. At first glance, they look a little bit meerkatish because they're stood up, but yeah. no, they're otters. They are otters, yeah. I paid two for that, which is a lot for, for me. Oh, I don't normally big... pay that much. It's a nice big mug. It's a big mug, isn't it? It's the same sort of size as the... Right, the same design, actually. Looking at the, You look at the handle. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's just... So I paid one for that and two for that. Just depends on who's selling them, doesn't it? And, really? and, the, and the, you know, the, the thing is, the design... Oh, it can be the same cup, but the actual designs can be more, more desirable. If... Some people just love otters and some people love Christmas. Exactly. Yeah. So. And then I've got a Johnson Brothers no, I really Born like to Shop that. teapot. Now I've um, had quite a few of their Born to Shop mugs before, but this was the first time that I saw a Born to Shop teapot. And it should say on the bottom Johnson Brothers. I really like, I think that's, uh, it's, the, it's the graphics of, I mean, it's very cartoon book, and um, it's very, um... I was going to say it's dated 1883, but I don't think it's from then. No. I think that's how long Johnson Brothers have been going. It's very... Johnson Brothers also do the Eternal Bow and Summer Chintz and things like that. The design but... is very kids... Um, kids book, isn't it? Kind of... They're yeah, going to eat that paper bag, because no, it's going to smell oh, of... Um... Bear with me for a second. He's still good. Oh, well, it's that, cartoonish, anyway. but I wouldn't say it's kids. It says dieting is like a chocolate teapot. Chocolate teapot, a waste of time. But I paid a pound for that one. It's nice, anyway. I like it. Yeah. And it's been used, but it, it's got some signs of. It won't take a lot. It needs a clean, but it's not bad. You know. You've done a hell of a lot worse. Well, I was just thinking I had a Denby teapot a couple of years ago that you could almost scrape the dirt out with a spoon, but. Mm. I've got it up to looking like brand new and absolutely what else have you got i'm just I've rummaging got through one or two. I've, I've, got, I've got about two items left all right now this one i was quite excited about because it is the very first emma bridgewater that i've ever found and i know a lot a lot of other resellers find emma bridgewater all the time but yeah. i don't know if it's more popular in other areas Can of the be, country yeah. to buy it new but i didn't like it particularly but it was on the bridge and i think i paid yeah i paid 50p for that one so i've got no idea if it's gonna sell but just Someone a little bowl like by emma bridgewater for rachel made with love in stoke on trent cool. yeah because if it's if the factory's up north then well, it makes sense. more sense it would appear a lot yeah. more yeah. up north and then the same lady also had, because she sold me the teapot for a pound, the bowl for 50p, and then this bowl for 50p. That's nice. And this one is Kath another Kath, 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 it's been a real Kath Kidston weekend. Hmm. It's got a lovely swan on it. That's a nice little bowl That's actually. nice and clean, yeah. I'm tempted to have that as a porridge bowl in the mornings. I'd make a nice porridge bowl. It would. It's quite big though, isn't it? And the trouble is. with big bowls and plates is you're tempted to put too much food yeah. in them. Well, my next, um, my next one is, um, I think I paid four pounds for this. Um, this is a nice black, it's a Burton's, Burton's nice black jacket. Is it wool? Jacket. It smells it's, like wool. Um, what have we got here? 
says Burton's London, it's extra, extra large. Extra large. Let's, Let's have a look at the label if we can. Got a label. It's nice inside. Uh, I don't see the label. Well, it's got a nice hooky thing to do up the neck. On those really windy cold times, yeah, and it's got um, the lapels at the top. Right, let's stay there for Let's try it on. You just had a red coat the other week. I you know have too I had many a red new coat. coat. <laughs> one in, one out. Remember, <laughs> that's too smart for you. No one will recognise you. <laughs> well there is that as a problem isn't it if you know if and just... also we have a big white dog that sheds fur you're not keeping it it will look a mess did you eat all your did you eat all your thing all your pig's ear was it yummy and while he's fid fid fiddling around with his jacket that oh, is good, another cath kidston mug this time it's cats same size again another large one And I don't think I showed you this one. Uh, this was yet another Cath Kidston. I got the three Cath Kidstons from the same lady. She wanted two pounds each for them, so unusually I paid it. And it's got polar bears and penguins, which of course could never happen in real life, because polar bears are North Pole, penguins are South Pole. However, if somebody decided uh, to unless they're in the zoo, or unless somebody decided to airlift one to uh, <laughs> to the other side of the world, well, if they were all in the zoo, then yes, you might be able to see them reasonably so close is together. It but not so. So, what is it that polar bears hunt? Is it seals normally, not not penguins, isn't it? Um. Well, obviously they don't hunt penguins. <laughs> Well, they might hunt for a I've long just time. told you it's a different side of the planet. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was trying to think what it is that they do hunt. Is it se seals? Isn't yeah, it? Yeah, seals and yeah. Um, sea creatures. Yeah. Cause they're they're mainly. I guess fish. Oh, I don't know how much fish they get up that way, but but, but anyway. polar bears are actually related to brown bears. Did you right. know that? Yes. And I think they were. Uh, just kind of migrated just a bit further north and probably went white when they went further north because the farther away from the equator yeah then the lighter your fur or skin goes um so how many more bits you got uh just one more oh, I've, just got, one. I've just got one more as well do you want to do yours or yeah. can i do I'll mine do what, i'll do mine and you can have the last the finale, the finale. <laughs> it's not that exciting don't um you? So I picked up this jacket. Uh, it's uh, a leather. It says genuine leather. Yeah, I can smell it's genuine um, leather. So what's it called? Um, Sandal, London. Sada. Sadal. Sadal. Genuine leather. London. Yeah. Uh, paid two pound fifty. I think it's so, a ladies' one because it's got a an elasticated waist at the back. Yeah. But it is a really nice soft leather. If um, you research the name, it, you, you may yeah. get a bit more info I'm on it. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. We it's had a sofa made out of this, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that a little repair that's been done? Um. Yeah, it does look a bit repairish, doesn't it? it? Does look like it's had some kind of little repair done. Um. Or, or is that the inside that of where the? That may be where the um. The elastic stops at the back or it might be yeah anyway genuine leather jacket i'm hoping that it will sell for about 20 quid 25 quid maybe more um paid two pounds for it quite happy with it so that's good and my last one is a set of stacking mugs I think these are called Spotty Dotty. I paid three pounds for these and they are rayware. I've never had rayware Ray stacking mugs yeah. before. Just dots st stackable, fine porcelain. 
Because, you know, fine porcelain, but that's it's again heavy. chunky yeah. and heavy. Yeah, yeah. But people like heavy, chunky stacking mugs, so I thought, well, we'll get them and see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. And like I say, you know, it's a... It's not something that I need a fast turnover on because anything that I stick on my on my eBay, um, it's it's not a shop I have. Yeah. You know, because I'm a private seller because I only sell bits here and there. And sometimes I go months without listing anything at all. And then what I do list, I just let it sit there for years and... Until it sells. Until it sells, so... Which is all good. Anyway, so I hope you've uh, enjoyed this uh, little show and tell. Um, so sorry that there wasn't the walk around the boot sale, um, but um, hopefully we will uh, hopefully be feeling better and uh, and get some actual footage going around. You're hoping an awful lot today. Oh yeah, lots of hopes. <laughs> He's tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. It's, it's, it's been it's... a lot. We. Um, I don't know if you saw. I don't even know if you've actually uploaded last week's no, show where we not. show you the puppy. No. Because we have a new Labrador puppy and we had to go to Exeter to pick him up and we both knew that we would be exhausted after the drive all the way there and yeah. all the way back and we're still recovering from that aren't we you know, yeah very much so because we both have um diseases that affect our energy levels, energy levels. we knew it was going to take us a week or so to to pick up again and we're not picked up yet are we no no not there yet but, but we're doing the best we can. Muddling along, it's just, you know, lots lots of rest in between what we're having to do. And it's, uh, I say, uh, um, you know, the, I mean, just getting the uh, uh, the films edited and, and put up and stuff, it just takes some more time and energy and stuff. But we'll see how we do. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you've seen anything uh, today that you'd like to comment on, if you know a bit of knowledge on some stuff and want to share it with our community that watches the films, we'd love to have those comments. Um, and do look out if you haven't, because uh, I don't know what he's doing with the videos and editing and uploading things. If you haven't, when you've seen this, seen last week's then do go and look for last week's and you yep. can meet the puppy because we actually pop him on the table so you can we get a do. good look yeah, at him because unfortunately he's black and he just doesn't show up doesn't in photos show. <laughs> no. you know you can see the outline of dog but his little face is so beautiful and you can't see it in the pictures no, can it's you? hard and i've done i've got an iphone so there's that cut out thing on photos where you can lift um like the dogs yeah and I've got a beautiful one where I've lived um, Oakley and Echo are next to each other. She's chocolate, he's black. And I've lifted them off and put them on a black background. And it looks stunning. But you can't see him. You've got to really get in there to look. Yeah. But everybody that does see it says it looks like a professional photo. Yeah, and it's, yeah but it, you still can't see anything. No. But So do look for that. Anyway, have a great week. And uh, we'll uh, make more films for next week. Take care. Lots of love. Bye. Bye.